Welcome to the Puckin' Stoner Dad Show. With your host, Dusty. All these franchises, all these people that used to fucking control me. The Ginge. Happy to be here. Looking forward to playing. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Check out our short form content on shorts and TikTok. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Puck and Stoner Dad Show. This is the first video of our division predictions. We are doing the Pacific Division right now. Dusty, how are you? Great, man. I'm getting so fired up man all, all these predictions and preseasons on and i'm just getting so fired up oh, my hockey hard on is fucking raging just full on eh, bad full uh, full job pulsating veiny full job. and just oh yeah little just hair full, uh, full fucking chub for her bad <laughs> but... <laughs> number eight who do you got Bull sharks. Really? Yeah. Number, number eight. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna think I'm great. I've got the ducks. Oh yeah, the I got them not far away yeah. from the sharks. So I don't know, man. I look at the ducks. You're naming a guy like Racco Gudis, your captain. <laughs> like they're they're in a rebuild, man. They're where they should be. They should be shit right now. Let's keep building up those picks because they do have a potential to be really, really fucking good in that there. Them and the sharks, man. They both do. That's where I'm at right now. I think the sh- sharks are gonna take a little bit of a step right now, and that's why I have them a little higher on my uh list right now. Uh, Askarov, I think, has that potential to walk in on that team and be pretty good. You got, got a Celebrini coming in. Uh, their blue line, like, is a very young and they're going to be learning. And yeah, they are going to be a shitty team. But I just look at the Ducks, man. It's just like, it's, it, they look depressed the past couple of years. And it's just, they've been an absolute dog shit team. Yeah, so no, that's why I have Ducks at number eight. No, I can't argue. Because yeah. I got them at number seven. So, this might be a little bit of a hot take. Number seven, I got Calgary. Wow, our list is pretty fucking close, though. Yeah. You're guessing my next one. <laughs> so, I got Calgary. Man, they're, they're doing what they should be right now. They should be aiming to be around there. Get experience with some of your guys. You're, you're starting, it looks like, going to be a rookie goaltender. You're going to rely on him to be your starter. Get someone good. Start building up a good team. They're getting a lot of assets right now. Build in within that. Be good because they got a new arena coming. Be good for around then, man. And that city's just going to be buzzing. Because Calgary is such a hockey city, man. They've got a ways to go. Oh, there's another cat showdown going on. <laughs> of course. We hit record. This stopped. As you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear in episode 22. We were actually we're talking about that as well. (laughs) Shout out, check that out, episode 22. There's about to be Uh, another cat uh, showdown. So number six, I'll say who I got first. Number six, I have the sharks. Like I said, I think told you, I think they're gonna take that step. I think I think we're gonna see what Askarov can have too. I think that could be a big part. Golden is gonna be a major thing, but. I think you could see, I could see them be taking a step and with some teams that are falling back right now. I think you could see them maybe taking a small step, maybe not just being last. My only concern is Askarov. I think he's going to be good for them, but I just feel like it's going to be too much for a young guy to handle. Uh, I don't think he's – is he that young, though? Like Probably I won't know how to spell his name. Askarov. He's only 22. <laughs> That's that's a pretty for a goalie. Yeah, that's young. You want to feed a goalie? To be thrown into goals. that. Throw the wolves. You're teaching kids right now how to be defensive, defensively responsible with that yeah. team. You're gonna, that's why. That's why you bring in vets too. But uh, you uh, my number six is the Flamers. 
So we, we, we're not the same, but we're different order of the same teams. It's the same ballpark. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they're not team for team the same because that would just yeah. be disappointing. Exactly. And I like, like I said, we both see the Flames being the team that is definitely going to be falling off one the more, but on purpose. It's not like it's going to be there shockingly bad. I see a good Flames team two, three, four years. And they're, they're going to be competitive to play against. Like, I don't think they're going to be one of those like, going in for a victory, but who knows? I still think it's going to be fun to watch them. Definitely. What do you got for number five? Vegas Golden Knights. Oh, I got Seattle cracking. I have a feeling we have another reverse. <laughs> no, I had the Golden Knights up quite a bit. So, Golden Knights, they lost Marsha Show. That's that's a big loss. That was their Stanley Cup P. That's a, a lot, loss. man. Who else did they lo- lost someone else too? And like, yeah, Jack Eichel's always going to be Jack Eichel's good, and guys they sign in are good. But I don't. Know, I could see them taking a step back finally. But who knows? Maybe they can come out and surprise and be a playoff contender. Who knows? Maybe they can do damage if they get into the playoffs. A hundred percent. I just think they got some sort of injury plan with Max Down. Sometimes, something I do kind of wonder. So, who do you have again? You, see? the Kraken. So, why are you thinking that? I just, they're just, they make the playoffs one year. They don't make the playoffs. They got some decent names. That are, they got Shane Wright coming in and this and that. And I just, I feel like they're almost there. Especially with the likes of like Grubauer. That's a that's a pretty solid goaltender and, and mm-hmm. I, I feel like they're gonna be okay. But it's just like they're still so hit and miss every year you see a different team. I don't think they've got it to be like top four, top three. Not this year. So the guy the other guy I actually forgot that actually uh did leave Vegas, Chandler Stevenson. He was that he went he went Golden to Seattle Knights. this year, six point two five million dollars on a seven year deal. That's Seattle true. Seattle sign that that makes Seattle pretty. That makes them a lot stronger up the middle, right? Uh, it should. It definitely, yeah, it did. Uh, let me see what else is it? all transactions. Uh, I bring it here so I can go like this, this, there. So Adam Larson signed a four-year, $21 million contract uh, in September. Uh, Eli Tovenin, two years, $6.95 million contract. I'm pretty sure he was already with the team. Maybe not. Uh, Berkeley Canton acquired Brian for yeah, the trade away. Which will fuck off, Steve. Max, Maxim Lejoie and Myers. What else? Chandler Stevenson, like I said, is a big. Brandon Montour went there as well. Oh, that's a massive add to their blue line. Seven years, uh, forty-nine million dollar con, almost fifty million dollar contract. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big one there, man. Those two. Uh, that's why I, think, I was like that. I forgot what I was doing that, and that's why I was like, "Oh yeah," it was like, "Whoa, man, I forgot about that." Yeah, I forgot about a couple of those. Yeah, so like crazy. I I'm reverse those with them with the Golden Knights now. Yeah. So funny that you said now that number four I have Seattle, and for those reasons that I was saying because of those ads. Yeah, I've got the Kings. Yeah. They were the kind of like, okay, good for from that Pierre Luc Dubois contract. Uh, I was looking at, yeah, I was, I was, gonna, yeah, I was looking at their puck PD and I was like, well, so like, what did they do? And like, like I think they just last season and like they haven't done anything to prove they've only gotten older. Yeah. So like, just, I feel like we're against some of these teams coming up, like the Oilers, the Canucks. Yeah. I don't see that. Like they had that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go like this. What's your screen? This. So they signed Arthur Lee up today, right? I signed a one year 800. No, who was it? Yeah, maybe it was someone else. I can. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, but like looking at names, man. Like I don't recognize these guys. Jordan Spence, like. Jordan Spence. He, he played for Moncton Wildcats. Oh, did he? 
Yes. Carter George. Uh, these are entry level. Byfield resigned. Poster. I'm looking yeah. at his poster right now on my son's wall across the across the room from me. That's funny. Yeah. That's really funny, actually. Quentin Byfield signed this year. Five years, thirty-one point two five million dollar extension. Caleb Jones signed a one-year two-way deal. Uh, Riley Walsh, Glenn Gordon. Like looking at these names, man. Copley, Phoenix. Trevor Lewis, Joel Edmonton, Joel Ed, Joel Ed Edmonton. Holy fuck, I can't say that guy's name. Signed there and uh, Warren Fogle. But like, yeah, like looking at like man, you guys do like. Yeah, I don't see the king too dangerous. Well, I, I could be wrong. Oh, they acquired Tanner Juno. Okay, okay. It's, is he really going to be it's fucking Steve? Get the fuck out of here. Steve wants to be on Puck and Stone or Dad. Apparently. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm looking at, man. I'm like, and that's why I'm actually looking at it right now. And I kind of wish I could swap three. Because I do have the Kings at three. Oh. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have. So I, I kind of wish I had Seattle there, man. I'm not going to lie. Those additions. Number three, who do you got? Number three, the Canucks. Okay, interesting. They're still going to finish high. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to go to the round probably three. But I don't think they're going to – I don't think they're actually going to make the third round. I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Mm-hmm. They do have some goaltending issues they got to address. So I had them close to – I had them at number two. So let's bring up their puck period and we'll see like who they actually got because – like I thought they were pretty good last year. And oh, they had um uh Jake DeBrusque signed there. Jake DeBrusque signed there this year. Brusque. Yeah. So go down here with all transactions. Random as little trade. Uh Daniel Sprong signed there. This too. Vincent DeHarney. Uh Danton Heinen. That that'd be a good ad for them, man. Heinen was pretty solid for, uh, he was on Boston, was he not? I think so. Fuck, they're really promoting fucking SDPN network on this, Buckpedia. Yeah, Jake DeBrus, like I said, Tyler Myers. Uh, that was a big one from this summer, man. Elliot McKayoff and Sam Lafferty are in Chicago. Sam Lafferty goes back to Chicago. Yes. So, like... That's why I said I like Canucks at two. I think they're pretty solid, man. I think I think they do really have a good shot with Demko's healthy. I think they have a really good shot at the title of the division. But I'm pretty sure we both have the same winner, obviously. Yeah. Edmonton. Spoilers. Yeah, you yeah. bet. Definitely, like no question, they could they could, or they could just be have that. Like I don't think they McDavid had that. Like go, oh, let's just get in. Like, I think you could arguably see the Oilers pushing for that uh, President's Trophy. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think they have a good shot. I think it's going to be a Western. I actually, I don't know, man. Like all the winners of the have such a good shot at it. So we'll definitely have to see. Uh, yeah, so that a bit to the Pacific. Uh, definitely make sure you uh, stay tuned in for the next episode where we're going to go over the central. You can check that out tomorrow. Until then, peace. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out our social medias. We are now on Spotify and Apple Podcast. 